Wow, look at that! Oh, oh my god, oh my god. We've arrived at the top of the world. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, Harley. Good morning, Nikos. <laughs> Good morning. I'm just preparing our coffee with our nice little travel kettle. Ready to start an awesome riding day. If you can't have a hotel buffet, you have to create your own. Check out that. We have scrambled eggs. We have some bread, some crackers, some fruit. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. And of course, some fresh coffee. What a life, hey? What a life. I just announced breakfast and now everyone is out and about. It doesn't get better than that. Check out the place where we stayed. How amazing! Nikos was asking around yesterday, probably a hundred people, where we can pitch up our tents for free. And then we ended up here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 216 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here just on the outskirts of Urubisi with our new friend John Mayer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really Nikos from Florianopolis. He's a new friend of ours and he's been showing us around the mountains of Santa Catarina for the last few days. Bravo! Thank you, Nikos! <laughs> today is our last ride together, so let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here just on the outskirts of Urubisi in the middle of the mountains of Santa Catarina. And today we are going to be exploring inwards in this little green area here to see some more beautiful mountain roads. So we have two main spots that we're going to be hitting today on the motorbikes. The first is called Moro da Igreja and it's basically a mountain that we are going to climb. And the second one is an amazing road called Corvo Branco, a bit like Rio do Rastro that we took on yesterday. Look at that, it just drops off the edge. Oh my God. Wow. So basically it's going to be some really epic riding today and I'm super excited for it. And it's already 8.50, so better hit the road. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nikos was very sweet. He got us a little trinket, a little gift. Check that out. A little gift for us and for Bumblebee. It says, a little sign of love. <laughs> How nice. Wow. So we just have to find the right place here on Bumblebee for our little present. What a beautiful little house for the night, eh? Very nice and quiet <laughs> and warm. Look at this place, it's like just loads of massive barns. Unexpected place to spend the night, but it worked great. The way how we keep our budget down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice and fresh 18 degrees in the mountains this morning. Yeah, let's see some awesome places today. So the first place that we're heading today Moro da Igreja means Church Hill. It's actually a mountain that you can ride all the way to the top of and it's 1822 meters high. It's the highest inhabited point of the state of Santa Catarina and can you believe it, it registered the lowest temperature in the whole of Brazil. So we're basically going to the coldest place in Brazil. Cool. <laughs> Anything to escape the heat. <laughs> so we've stopped here in town first at this place, Moro da Igreja Autorizaciones Aqui. 
basically Moro da Igreja, the mountain, sits within the Parque Nacional de São Joaquim, the São Joaquim National Park, and uh, you've got to go into this little building to get an authorization for us to basically ride there. Uh, this is a document. And yeah. no, document? Document? Moto? No, no. no? no. Passport? Or? No, placa. My, uh, oh, placa. Ah. Ah. Okay. Perfect. That's it. Okay. So we already went online and pre-authorized ourselves, and they just gave us this. Cool. Let's go, Morro da Igreja. Yeah. Morro da Igreja. This way. <laughs> so I think this is the start of the climb. And the sign said, Rodovaria subjecto neblina. So it's like, I think the road is subject to clouds, to fog. And we experienced a lot of fog yesterday. Whoa, it's getting super foggy now. Whoa. So I understand what they mean. Here we are, entrance to the Parque Nacional São Joaquim. <laughs> Bom dia. Okay. It's time to climb a mountain. We're in. We've given our tickets. We're clear for takeoff. <laughs> so they have a maximum time limit apparently. And the guy said we can have 30 minutes inside the park. I'm not sure if that's a preservation of nature thing or if that's simply because they get a lot of visitors. The whole road up is like with this beautiful tarmac that just makes it easy so we can just enjoy this epic ride in the national park yes <laughs> Getting up now, up to the top of the mountain. Nice! And you can see on top there's a radio tower, there's I think a weather station, and up there, I think that is the top of Moro da Igreja. Whoa, look at this! Wow! Epic views! Look <laughs> at that! Amazing! <laughs> Whoa, look down there! Whoa! Wow! Wow! Oh, look at that. Wow! A sea of clouds! Oh my god, that looks so nice! Wow, look at that! Oh, oh. oh my god, oh we, my god. We've arrived at the top of the world. Beautiful. Good. More, more. Mas, mas lindo. Look at that, it looks like a lost world down there. I don't know if you guys can see down there, there's a little hole in the rock. Yeah. Whoa. Point uh, Turisca Pedra Furada. My name is Pedra Furada. Pedra Furada. Pedra Furada. Okay.
us and John Mayer <laughs> having a break at the top of Brazil. <laughs> at the top of the world! I think this is my favorite spot here in Brazil so far. Can't get much better views than that, look at that. Overlander t-shirts, available in the description. <laughs> Unfortunately, our time in this beautiful place is up. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, beautiful place. It's time to find the next beautiful place. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's really cool because Nikos told us it was his first time up here as well. So that's really cool if we can as well explore some new places together. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's not every day that you get to climb a mountain with a motorbike, so that's really cool. Awesome, so we are back on the highway now and we're heading to our next awesome place of the day, Serra de Corvo Branco or the Mountains of the White Crow. And this is basically another crazy road, just like the one we did yesterday, Serra de Rio Rastro. So it should be a, a really cool ride. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to ride it. Oh, whoa, no way, look at this. <laughs> oh. On a dirt road! <laughs> <laughs> oh Nikos, you are crazy. Bon dia! Bon dia. Wow, they're really, really renewing the road here. Yep. Got some road works going on, that's for sure. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit bumpy there. <laughs> oh. Whee. Whee. oh. Got a puddle. <laughs> well, we're climbing up now. Climbing up on the dirt road. Oh my god, it's a little bit rocky. <laughs> well look at this place though, epic. It's epic, yeah. Very cool. Look at that! Crazy! Uh, Walking, yeah? Uh, no motorcycles! No Why? Why? No! Wow! Look at this! Oh. What's going on here with the smoke or with the clouds? Wow! <laughs> Look at that! So apparently this road is normally open for traffic and normally it's not a dirt road either, but I think they are doing works on the entire way. So basically we had a bit of dirt road and also a bit of closed road as a result. Crazy stuff. Well, what a cool, cool, cool place. Wow, look at this. Woo, jeez. Look at these cliffs. Unbelievable. Hey.
having a little sit down picnic. We've got some soup. We've got some fruit that Lavi cut this morning. And look at this. Look at where we just were. Why is it that every time we go to a place, it ends up covered in fog five minutes later? Lucky. Lucky that we saw. What's going on? Okay, we've now got to take on the dirt road back down from Serra Corvo Branco. And it's like the fog is only on the other side. On this side, it's like totally clear. Yeah, that's true. So now we've got a little bit of a dirt road adventure to get back down again. And then we'll be making our way back to the town of Urubisi. Oh look, you can see the fog coming up over the uh, pass. That looks magical, hey? Whoa, yeah. So cool. Yeah, crazy. We were up there with good visibility. We could see everything. And then suddenly it was just like whitewash. Don't go too close to the edge here. <laughs> Nikos is planning to go on a trip as well. In December, he will head down to Ushuaia and then back up to Mexico. So we catch up on the way again. Yeah, his plan is to be quite a lot faster than us as well. So most likely he'll just catch us up somewhere in Patagonia. Yes, that would be <laughs> awesome. We made a biker friend in South America! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Unfortunately, when we reach Urubisi, Nikos and us will be parting ways as we continue our way south and he'll be heading back to Florianopolis, which is sad because mm. it's been a lovely couple of days. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had quite the adventure, some beautiful camping, amazing mountain roads. We fell off for the first time in South America. Oh, going over. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Check. No, no, Nikos has showed us some really, really beautiful spots around Santa Catarina. And for me, Santa Catarina really did live up to the expectations. Oh, definitely. Yep. It's been really, really nice. Obrigado, Nikos. Obrigado, Nikos. One year. It's good played. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, I can feel my knees. <laughs> a little bit of a workout, eh? Yeah, it is. That kind of terrain was pretty rough but yeah when we stand up on the pegs we've got really good stability it's actually not too bad it's not too bad hey i think that's a good practice we're getting better Woo! definitely possible although we did just fall off yesterday so true but then again that was because i stalled the bike and we lost momentum well also you couldn't put your foot down and i couldn't put my foot down ah oh, we've hit tarmac again Boring! Nico! Oh my god, I killed a bird! Did you see that? There was something that like flew very low. I told I told you I saw something flying. I killed a bird. Oh. Let me see if he's dead or alive. No, see. no he's dead. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I saw something flying, and then I didn't feel anything, and I carried on. L like here, no? No idea. Wow.
Be careful. Careful. Yes. We see you. Patagonia. Bye bye, Nikos. <laughs> there we go. That's Nikos heading north, us heading south. But anyway, it's really cool because we will see him again. There'll always be another time to ride together. Yes. And camp together. Exactly. It's nice to meet people who really love the outdoors and the camping and the riding and everything combined. Until next time, Nikos. We see you next time. <laughs> It's two o'clock in the afternoon and we don't know exactly how far we can get for today but we will make our way south and then we will try to find uh, a place to stay along the way. We haven't uh, really checked exactly where we're going to stay but <laughs> I we'll, guess uh, we'll make some distance south and uh, we'll figure it out. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Patagonia, we are coming. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just coming into the town of Sao Hakim. So we're just going to stop and see if we stay in this town or if we continue further south. It really depends on the price of accommodation, really. So, we just spoke to this guy, he's with this garage behind us and uh, basically he told us about a, a place in town where we can pitch up the tent for free, which is awesome. He called a friend, called a bunch of people and said, yeah, yeah, it's fine for you to pitch up a tent over there. I'm going to take you on my motorcycle and escort you there personally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How nice is that? <laughs> and his name is Gabriel. Thanks, Gabriel. Thanks, Gabriel. And Gabriel's English is just perfect. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, he said he did like a course and spent some time in the United States. Yeah, it's really cool. He just came up to us. Hey guys, can I help you with something? And we were like, yeah, we're actually looking for a place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're going into somewhere now. Look at this. Nice. Look into this big gates. Oh, it's really like a place like yesterday. <laughs> yes. Is it? Actually, I mean this morning when we woke up. It's a really similar place. Whoa. Anywhere here. No oh, way! What a place! What? That's incredible! <laughs> nice! Good evening, guys! <laughs> we have built up our camp here at this exhibition space, um, but then it started to rain and we were in the middle of cooking dinner, got some noodles, <laughs> yes. so we quickly had to finish that up and then jump inside the tent. Yes, now we are just hiding here for the rain to stop, but anyway, we will have our dinner now. It was a really, really cool day today. <laughs> We had some amazing riding and that Nikos showed us around was absolutely epic. So, and that we have now the free camp here is pretty cool as well. Yeah, exactly. So um, an amazing day of riding, 
and an amazing place where we can spend a night for free. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below, and we will see you next time. Good morning, world. Welcome Good back. Good morning. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs>